Hey everybody, Chad Rosenberg from Rosenberg & Parker. For the longest time, bonds simply couldn't compete with letters of credit. Why? Because the banks gave away LCs practically for free. That's right, you heard me, I said free. They gave them away as a loss leader for their good clients. Well, that all started to change in 2008 with the international banking crisis and something called the Basel III Accord. And these things required banks to start recognizing LCs on their balance sheets and against their ratios. So they had to start charging more money. And as the bank rates went up, bond rates were falling. And suddenly bonds were competitive with letters of credit. There's a couple of other reasons you may want to use bonds. One is that LCs appear on your balance sheet as a liability, whereas bonds do not. And the other is that letters of credit go against your bank lines of credit, where bonds do not. If you have any letters of credit that you think you may want to look at to replace with bonds, please contact us at Rosenberg & Parker, where our vision is clear and it's pure surety.